The scams are being delivered right to people's mailboxes and police say they're targeting people throughout Hardin County. Rebecca Yates is one of the dozens of people in Elizabethtown who found a postcard like this in the mail. And it had my bank's name on it. Elizabethtown police say they started getting calls about the fake notices last week and the complaints keep coming in. These are very official looking notices, uh, very convincing on the outside if you don't do a little due diligence. The scammers claim there's an issue with your mortgage and say you need to call a 1-800 number immediately to fix the problem. They will make the claim that your identity has been stolen to take out a mortgage in your name, and then they will proceed to ask for your information so they can, in fact, steal your information. For Yates, it wasn't an issue. She says she knew it wasn't real as soon as she looked at it. Just tossed it away. Didn't even pay attention to it. But it leaves her with an important question. And you know, the bank told us that they don't give out that information, so how did they get it? Because apparently these scammers are using public information to find out where their prospective victims are banking. And police say it's an example of an even larger problem. And what a lot of people don't realize is that identity theft is now the number one type of organized crime. It has actually surpassed the drug trade uh, just in terms of sheer numbers. Since many of the scammers are not even in the country, it's nearly impossible for police to track them down. That's why it's so important to double check anything that doesn't seem right. If you've received a notice from what appears to be your bank, call your local bank at a local number so that you're absolutely sure who you're talking to. You just need to be careful. And uh, E-Town Police Department is very good about putting out the scam alerts mm -hmm. and just join them on social media. So, and they're on top of it. In Elizabethtown, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.